Hey guys, I'm Dylan John Dickerson, and what you're gonna learn to create today, you can use for text, you can use it for logos, honestly, anything that you would like to have this cinematic glitch animation, and no plugins are required. So let's create that glitch animation with text. So press the shortcut Control T to bring up a basic title, and of course, we're gonna need to trim this. So let's press Option and right bracket at the point where we want the text to end. Then adjust the text. So now for the animation part, head to the beginning of either your picture, your text, and we're gonna make six different cuts here. So you could bring up your blade tool by pressing B, go over a frame, make a cut, over a frame, make a cut, over a frame, make a cut, and do that six different times. If you don't know where a frame is, if you look at these individual markers here, each of these is a frame. Now you're gonna go ahead and delete the second, the fourth, and the sixth text section. So basically you should have these gaps in between. Go to your effects browser and you're gonna look up the effect zoom. This is a free built-in effect and you'll just drag this to the first and the second text layer. Now obviously this is way too much, so we're gonna need to adjust this. So hop into your inspector window and just decrease the amount, perhaps to 10 or nine. Next, you're gonna look up the prism effect. This also is a free built-in effect in Final Cut Pro. You can double click to apply and do the same for this third text. Now you're obviously gonna decrease the amount here, just like we did with the zoom blur. The last effect we're gonna use is called streaks. And this is also a free effect in Final Cut. Double click to apply this to the second text layer. Now you may need to adjust the different settings depending on what your shot shows. For example, you may need to adjust the amount, perhaps the glow, even the threshold. For this, I kind of like where we have it. However, I would like to change the color to something that would match this shot. And I think something in the red color range is gonna work best. Now this will happen sometimes in Final Cut where you'll select a color and it won't transfer over. Whenever this happens, perhaps I'm doing something wrong, but all I do is just drag this swatch to this one here and it adjusts it for me. And actually I think we should adjust the threshold here so it's just a bit brighter on our text. Then what you'll do is you'll press Command C on this second text layer and hit the longer text layer and hit Command Shift V. This is gonna bring up your paste attributes window which allows you to transfer over any effects or adjustments to different clips. So the only one we wanna transfer over is streaks for this. So hold option and press streaks. This will deselect everything else and only select that effect or adjustment that you would like to transfer over. And then just hit paste to apply. Now we're not gonna leave this the whole way through obviously. What we're gonna do is go to the very beginning, hit the keyframe button on our amount here, skip two frames over by using your right arrow key, and then drop this down to zero. Now if you want, you can adjust the color of this to something different. So perhaps we go for something a little closer to orange, and perhaps we adjust the threshold on this so we can see more of the text. So this is what we have so far, which looks pretty good. The last thing I would suggest adjusting is the size of this second text layer. I would just increase it by a few percentages. So now we have something that stands out a bit more. And if you want this to animate out, it is as simple as copying these three text layers by pressing Command C, going over and skipping a frame and hitting Command V. So now we have something that looks like this. And you can get really creative with this if you wanna go in and add different effects, perhaps say the underwater effect, but just keep in mind that the order of your different layers matters. So for example, if you added the underwater effect after all of these layers, specifically the streaks, it will affect the streaks layer as well. So to counteract that, just drag the underwater effect or whatever effect you're applying before the streaks effect. So now we have a little sideways action here. I don't particularly like this, but you can leave it if you want. But there are lots of different options that you can use to create your own style of this glitch animation. And if you've ever wondered how to make that highlight text effect with no plugins at all, click this video right here and have a great rest of your day.